Good morning. It is Friday morning. It's about 9.15 and uh, hitting some yard sales this morning. Um, I've already been to about eight so far. Um, it's It's been okay today. I haven't found that much. My first sale, actually, uh, the fella that owns um, the building where my office is located, he was having yard sale, my landlord. It turns out that he uh, buys investment properties and, and uh, he'll buy pallets of salvaged items just to grab stuff to put in those properties. So he had a lot of that stuff left over and uh, that's what's in that bin right there. I scanned some of it. A lot of it's open box and I don't know if it's been used or not, but uh, we'll, we'll check it out and see. Um, some of it scanned pretty high, like some of the lights and stuff that are in there. Um, but you, you, it's hit or miss with salvage items, so we'll see how that goes. So let's see what all we can find. How y'all this morning? Good, how are you? Good. Guys, I'm going to make a quick pit stop at my local thrift store. Well, one of my local thrift stores. This one just happens to be at the end of one of the yard sale runs that I do. So, I'm running here real fast and see what they got. found a couple of things at the thrift store. Now on to more yard sales. Morning. How are you? How much on your video games? Um, I think I have five on Health and Borderland and two fifty on the rest. I think. Okay. Yeah. Then I think it's a dollar a piece on the PlayStation Two games. Okay. So you got five, five. on. Okay. All right. I'll definitely take these. Right.
good morning guys all right back at the office it is saturday morning stepped out the truck to get something there um i'm going to be uh listing today instead of yard selling because uh i just have way too much work to do and plus there wasn't that many but i did pick up some stuff yesterday um this whole box full of um uh, uh salvaged items Let's see there's some doorbells some old faucets there's a roof vent just some uh miscellaneous stuff there's a ceiling fan kit a water heater expansion tank that and then these uh halo lights and a couple more doorbells. I uh, got all that for 40 bucks. Um, that tank right there, if it's in good shape on the inside, even if it's even if it's uh, used, is 40 bucks on eBay. So, so it's a pretty good buy. And then <clears throat> I got these motorcycle tank bags here, uh, along with there's some. There's a motorcycle mirror, some chrome, some chrome foot pegs. There's another mirror in there. Here's some more chrome foot pegs, and I think there's a handle, a couple chrome handles in here. Yeah, there's a couple chrome handles. Uh, I got all that for fifty. Uh, if if I'm right. The chrome two sets of the of the uh, chrome foot pegs will pay for that, and then the rest is profit. And let's see, also got this glove. This is an A3 Wilson A360, not that great of a glove. And this uh, Canon Pixma printer here. Got those for five bucks. At a yard sale five bucks total uh, here is a just bring it uh, this is the rock this is a WWE shirt from a few years ago wrestling shirts do okay and yesterday at the thrift store I picked up this toner cartridge um, comps are all over the place on this guy I paid six bucks for it, but potentially it could be 50. And the only other thing I got there was this uh, Panasonic uh, wireless phone. And uh, so then, then another sale I bought these Nerf guns one, two, three, four, plus that scope down there, those boots. And a uh, Apple Mouse. This is an older one. A1197. And a block. I'll pick those up anytime. Anyway, I got all that for 20 bucks. So the, the two mega guns right there together are 30. By themselves, I think I can get another 25 for that one. That one probably 19, 18, 19 dollars. And then those boots are about 30 bucks, and the mouse is about 17 or 18. So, and then uh, my biggest purchase of the day was this guy right here. This is. See if you can see it. An Icon Ghost Carbon uh, helmet. Now, here's what they were asking. They're asking 150, and the 600 new, they are spot on. When I looked on eBay, this particular model, it is 600 bucks, and people have actually gotten 600 bucks. So, they're asking 150. I tried to get it at 175. We settled on 100. So I bought I bought a motorcycle helmet for one hundred dollars. 
Uh, I'm going to list it today. I'm going to start it at 400 because there was one that was pre-owned that went for 400. So we'll start there and see how it does. Would you would you get would you guys have bought this? Um, you know, I uh, I'll take chances like this sometimes. So. All right, so I'm gonna don't typically. Oh yeah, that helmet I also bought that being a Lego right there. <laughs> like I need more of that, right? So I'm also going to ship out some orders today. I know it's Saturday, but I don't want to get too far behind. So I don't think this is it. What else just said? Oh yeah, yeah. There this also. Um, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Missing a couple items. Oh well, I'll look those up in a second. Alright, so I took a best offer of seventy dollars for the zip drive in the box. Um, I got forty bucks for Mario Party six. I got fifteen because that one doesn't have the manual. I got twenty one or twenty two for Mario Party eight. Uh, the banjos I got twenty five each. Zelda got 29 and NFL Blitz I got 14. Okay, I knew there was something else. Um, this is a Kobe MP3 player, brand new in the box. I sold it for uh, 40 bucks. Also, also sold a lot of 10 Briar horses, but I'm waiting payment on it. I sold it for. Um, 65 but they haven't paid so we'll see so let's get to packing all right so i lied about going to yard sales i was going home to get my other scale and uh there was a yard sale here and uh i stopped and just picked up all these ps3 games for uh five bucks so less than a dollar on, on each of these not bad, but I mean, they're not the greatest games, but I'm not going to pass that kind of deal by. Anyway, back to the shop. So while I was packing, this sold for 50, that sold for 65. So if you guys aren't buying these these Xbox uh, Guitar Hero Explorers, that's what it looks like. That's what the tag looks like. I bought this at a yard sale for one dollar. It sold for 65, 64.99 free shipping. So I'll net like 45 bucks. It's only three pounds, and uh, it's small enough. It's only probably 24 inches. I'm, I'm sorry, 28 inches long. So, anyway, just wanted to share those. I'm going to go ahead and package that one up. I'll wait and do that later. All right, so, yeah. I was going to the post office to drop off my packages, and, uh, of course, there was a... A yard sale and uh, so 50 cents I bought uh, not the Mountain Dew but the this Marvel mug and uh, this Vornado fan I don't know why I did my wife thinks that I have a weak a sickness that I can't pass a yard sale I would say that's right <laughs> anyway, I'll get these to the post office and oh no. Check this out. Another yard sale. Let's do it. Yeah, so I just bought these two Eddie Bauer bags. Okay, now I have got to get to the post office. Alright, so I went ahead and stopped at a few yard sales on the way to and from the post office. 
and uh, here's what I picked up. Um, so there are times when you don't know what something is and it just looks different and uh, you just buy it because it's cheap enough. I saw this. I just picked it up on the table. Uh, she wanted 50 cents for it and I got 50 cents for and I paid 50 cents for this also. Um, so I'd never heard of this brand before and uh, looked it up and brand new the black ones are like 85 bucks the white ones not so much and there were some used ones that have sold for 25 to 30 dollars so so remember that brand vornado and then this would be about 20 bucks if the stones weren't missing the stones are missing and there's a little chip on it there so you know i know that that we should try to get things that sell for more and you know our target is thirty dollars it should really be thirty bucks and up profit but fifty cents into twenty five so i'll net you know and it and it's twenty five plus shipping so i'll fifty cents in it you know it'll take two dollars I'll, I'll still get twenty bucks just for stopping for two seconds at a yard sale i'll do that all day long um Okay, so this is a Buzz Lightyear from 1998. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, 1998. This is the Collector's Edition Holiday Hero Buzz Lightyear. Uh, they wanted 10, I tried to get it for 5, we settled for 8. And uh, the box has some, has some damage. So when I first scanned this, there's people who have them listed for over $100. Um, in actuality, there's a few that have sold, uh, the highest I think is about $60. So in that condition, I'll probably put it on there for 40. So $8 to $40, not counting the fees and stuff. So that's, that'll be a pretty quick flip. Like I said, this is, was all on the way to, to the post office. So, and I only had like 25 bucks in my pocket. There are a couple of 80 Bauer bags. Um, they're a little dirty, but... When it comes to bags, you know, Eddie Bauer's decent. Um, so those were five bucks for both of them. And then this is a Jingle Bell Rock Santa that I actually picked up yesterday. Uh, we went to one more thrift store, Jessica and I did, and uh, picked this up. This is actually from that thrift store that I went to last weekend. I went back and found this uh some of these sell for eighty dollars so um okay back to listing all right guys it is now 9 30 saturday night and i'm going to update my board real fast i've been listing some today although i need to update a uh the other night i was wrong i actually did 70 more dollars so, uh, this is actually 26 listings for $1,039 on Thursday. And then last night, I just did three listings for uh, $95. And then tonight... I think it was seven listings for $833. So let's let's see what that add up adds up to be. Alright, so we have a grand total of let's see here. I added it up over here. We have a grand total of four thousand three hundred and thirty four dollars not bad for week one i've already surpassed what i did in august or at least what i kept track of in august so pretty happy about that so it's been a pretty awesome week off i've had so much fun working here in the office uh and uh makes me realize how much i want to go full-time so 
we'll see how well I can keep up with the board um, since I'm going back to work. Um, it'll be hard to ma maintain this amount of listings, but uh, you know, I'll do what I can. Um, still working on my schedule and stuff to see how uh, how I can work around um, spending time here and then spending time with family and doing getting a lot of hours at work. I talked to one of my coworkers today, and uh, he let me know there's plenty of work waiting on me when I get back. So um, anyway, that is it, guys. That's the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching.